show that if fx is equal to this one, then the gradient function is this one. So actually, gradient function is dy over dx. So we see here, this one is the multiplication. So you can use product rule. So dy over dx is equal to u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So we see here, we have fx is equal to x times x squared plus 3. So x, so we take out the third, so plus 3 power of half. So this one is u and this one is v. So here du over dx is equal to, so you differentiate x, you get 1. So dv over dx, when you differentiate the bracket with power, so we bring the power forward. So half x squared plus 3 and then you minus the power with 1. So half minus 1 and then you differentiate what is inside. So you get half. So this one is x squared plus 3. Half minus 1 is negative half. So you differentiate x squared plus 3, you get 2x. Differentiate x squared, you get 2x. Differentiate 3, you get 0. So we have the power of half here, so 2 and 2 can be cut off. So we will get, sorry here, so we get x divided, because this one is power of negative, so this one will be set x squared plus 3. So here dy over dx is equal to u, so u is equal to x. So dv over dx is this one. So, x divided by so x squared plus 3 plus, so we have v, v is so x squared plus 3 and then du over dx is equal to 1. So, here you see here when we want to add, this one is, so this one multiply by 1, this one is denominator. So, we have to multiply this one with so x squared plus 3 divided by so x squared plus why? Because we want to combine the denominator as third x squared plus 3. So here x times x is x squared. So we see here when we multiply the same thing, so we will get square x squared plus 3. So we know third and square root can be cut off. So here we get x squared plus x squared, you get 2 x squared plus 3 divided by third x squared plus 3. So we see here, prove that this one, when you differentiate, you get this one, so this one is proven. So 13, so this is y, find dy over dx, determine the range of value of x, such that all the value of y and dy over dx are positive. So we calculate dy over dx first. So y is equal to 4x minus 3 divided by x squared plus 1. So we know this is division. So we use quotient rule. So dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv over dx divided by v squared. So this one, the above one is u and this one is v. So du over dx is equal to, when you differentiate 4x, you get 4 when you differentiate negative 3, you get 0. So, dv over dx. So, you have x squared plus 1. When you differentiate, so x squared, you get 2x. And 1, you get 0. So, you can substitute. So, dy over dx is equal to v. v is x squared plus 1. du over dx is equal to 4 minus u is equal to 4x minus 3 dv over dx is equal to 2x divided by v square. So v is x square plus 1 square. So you can expand x square times 4, you get 4x square. 1 times 4, you get 4. So 4x times 2x, you get 8x square. But you have negative, negative 8x square. Negative 3 times 2x, you get negative 6x. Negative 6x times with negative, you get positive 6x. Divided by x square plus 1. So, 4x square minus 8x square, you get negative 4x square. Plus 6x, this one is plus 4, divided by x square plus 1 square. 
So we see here all the value of y is positive and dy over dx is positive. So what does it mean by positive? Positive means larger than 0. So this one should be larger than 0. So when this one is larger than 0, so dy over dx is larger than 0. So we have this one multiplied with 0, we get 0. So negative 4x squared plus 6x plus 4 is larger than so we see here we can divide with negative 2. So if you want to divide with negative 2, so we must change from larger to 0 to smaller than 0. Because divide in negative, you will get mutual symbol. So negative 4x divided by negative 2, you get 2x square. 6x divided by negative 2, you get negative 3x. 4 divided by negative 2, you get negative 2. So here you get 2x plus 1 and then x minus 2 is smaller than 0. So, so we see here this one is smaller. So when you say smaller, so the range is inside. So x is in between. So this one is negative half and 2. So when dy over dx is larger than 0, so x is in between half and 2. But we also need to check for y. So here we see here, y is equal to 4x minus 3 divided by x squared plus 1. So we see y is larger than 0. So 4x minus 3 over x squared plus 1 is larger than 0. So we bring it to the right. So we get 4x minus 3 is larger than 0, right? So 4x is larger than 3. x supposed to be larger than 3 over 4. So we have two range. So we have two range, which is x. So I just put it on a line. So I have 1 over 2 here. So 3 over 4 is larger. And we have 2. 2 is somewhere here. So for the first one, it says that it is between 1 over 2 and 2. And the second one, it say that larger than 3 over 4. So this one is larger than 3 over 4. So the actual range is the one which is see sharing the same uh, sharing the same value which is x is in between 3 over 4 and 2. So 14 given this one find the range of value of x such that y and dy over dx are both negative. So like the 13, we have to check value for our both. When y is uh, okay, negative means smaller than 0. When y is smaller than 0 and when dy over dx is smaller than 0. So, so actually I can find y first. So here when y is smaller than 0. So x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 5 is smaller than 0. So with this one we bring to the right, we get x minus 2 is smaller than 0. So x is smaller than 2. So we write first, when y is smaller than 0, x is smaller than 2. Okay. Now we calculate dy over dx. So y is equal to x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 5. So we know this is division, so quotient rule. So I deleted the formula. is equal to v du over dx minus u dv over dx divided by v square. So this one is u, this one is So du over dx is equal to, so du is equal to x minus 2, du over dx is 1. Differentiate x, you get 1. Differentiate negative 2, you get 0. So dv over dx is equal to, when you differentiate this one, you get 2x. Now we have all, you can substitute. So dy over dx is equal to v, v is x squared plus 5, du over dx is equal to 1, minus u is x minus 2, dv over dx is 2x, divided by v square. So v is x squared plus 5 square. So x squared times 1, you get x square. 5 times 1, you get 5. So 2x times x, you get, and times negative, you get negative 2x square. Negative 2 times 2x, you get negative 4x. Negative 4x times negative, you get positive 4x. Divided by x squared plus 5 square. 
So here dy over dx is equal to So here x square minus 2 x square You get negative x square Plus 4x Plus 5 Divided by x square plus 5 okay. So you say that dy over dx is negative So this means this one is smaller than 0 So here Negative x square plus 4x plus 5 Divided by x square plus 5 Square smaller than 0 Means when you multiply this one with 0 You get 0 right So this one you get negative x square plus 4x plus 5 Is smaller than 0 So you want this one to be positive So you have to divide negative So we know in inequalities When we divide with negative The symbol change So when you divide with negative So x square minus 4x minus 5 Instead of smaller than, it will become larger than. You see? So, x square divided by negative 1, I get positive. 4x square, 4x divided by negative 1, I get negative 4. 5 divided by negative 1, I get negative 5. So, 5 is equal to 5 times 1. So, this one is negative. So, I can see x minus 5. This one is x. This one is x plus 1 is larger than 0. So we see here, this one is larger. So if the inequality is larger, so we have, so I have this one is equal to negative 1, right? And this one is equal to 5. So if larger, the graph is separated. So one is going this way and one is going the other way around. Okay, this is for dx of dy over dx is smaller than 0. So we have another one which is x is smaller than 2. So we have another graph. So this is negative 1 so we have this one which is c2 and this one is smaller than 2 so we can see the redundant one is so you see here this one is 2 smaller than 2 this one is smaller than negative 1 this one is larger than 5 so the redundant part is this one you see here smaller than negative 1 and this one so x is smaller than negative 1